We currently sit fourth in the Vanarama South at the moment. We're also unbeaten since joining Chippenham. Long may that continue. Hello and welcome to Club One, episode two of Half Star to Five Star here on Football Manager 23. My name's Ross and Clubs here. We've got two games for you. The first one is against Beckenham of Tier 10 in the FA Cup qualifying round two. And then we entertain Dulwich Hamlet in the league. Dulwich Hamlet, who we managed last season. Um, Want to check out that save? It's up here or up here. It's one of the corners. So, since you guys were last with us, we have gone on an unbeaten run, like I said in the intro. So, you guys saw the Ebbsfleet game. We then beat Chelmsford. We beat Oxford. We have drew with Worthing. Drew with Hungerford. Beat Taunton 2-1. Uh, beat Dartford 3-1, beat Braintree 2-1, and then drew 0-0 with Hampton and Richmond in the most recent game. That leaves us fourth in the table on 19 points, uh, plus six on the goal difference. We are eight points behind having Waterloo, who haven't lost a game yet. So hopefully when we get to play them, we can be that team that does beat them. We're also four points behind local rivals, Bath. So when we get to play them, hopefully we can beat them and overtake them. Having a look at the transfers then, we have shipped out a few players, uh, guys that have left on a free. It's given us a little bit of uh, wage budget, allowed us to bring in another goalkeeper. So we brought in Sam French. Uh, he's a three and a half star kind of, but five star potential goalkeeper, 21 years old. Uh, stats do look okay. The eccentricity is down a hell of a lot, so I'm really happy with that. First touch isn't the greatest, so there's always an opportunity that the balls will be played back to him. He goes to stand on it and he goes in the back of the net. So hopefully that doesn't happen. If we have a look at where he's come from. He started at Leicester, went to Derby. Uh, was last season was on loan at West Brom. Well, that was two seasons ago, sorry. Uh, hasn't, been in, hasn't been in the game since joining us. Uh, come to us, conceded five goals in six games and kept two clean sheets. So he's done really well. If we also have a look at the rest of the squad then, if you have a go from this page, our top goal scorer is uh, Tom Hewlett, five goals. Highest average player is Akindayan. Um Most assists, we've got three there of Joe Hanks, and same for Akindayan-y. Uh What should we call him? Let's just call him Dan. Let's call him Dan for now, because it's a bit, of a bit of a mouthful to say his name. Uh, yellow cards, Luke rusty has got those with four, so happy with the discipline side of things, although picking up those yellow cards I, I kind of hope we don't pick up many more in terms of tactic we have gone to the uh the four two three one formation it seems to be better for us i went back to the four three three didn't really work so yes yeah, so we've gone on to this one so let's jump straight in to the fa cup game we have slightly rotated the squad a little bit we are going with french and goal a back four of jones martinez tizard and aina muhu and russi in the defensive midfielder roles Fazamid on the left, Bradbury in the centre, Dan on the right hand side, and Hewlett up front. Hoping for a nice, nice easy game for us here. Scoring loads of goals, getting a clean sheet, and getting that confidence and team cohesion back into this team. It's quite low at the moment, despite us winning as many games that we actually have. First highlight is a corner for us, putting in by Fazamid. Gone to the back post, but the keepers come out to collect it. Easy catch for him. A little bit of pressure from our players though, but keeper caught it well. He's looking for an option up front now. It's a big kick forward. Looks like he's straight into our defence though. Uh, Aina's picked it up. Over to Jones on the left-hand side. He's got options in front for Mika if he can find them. Done. He's going alone at the moment. He's got some space to run into. In goes the cross, trying to find Hewler. It is at a, a Beckenham defender. Dan's got it. He's put the cross in, trying to find Hewler. Again, it's been cleared. Only as far as Mewhu. Chest, I thought he'd been fouled there. Beckham have got it clear. It's only as far as Tizard. Tizard into Mewhu. Over the top, trying to find Dan. He has found him in the box. Head goes across, trying to find Hewlett. Hewlett's head. Oh, it hits the crossbar. It hits the crossbar and Beckham get it clear. Very good opportunity for us there. Goal kick for Beckham in the 13th minute. Lumped forward, trying to find someone in the centre. Tizard with the head into Bradbury. Over to Dan. What can he do with it? He's got an option on the left-hand side. He finds Jones. Jones needs to find a good cross if any of our players can get into the box. They have now. Cuts it across into Dan. Dan puts in the back of the net. 14 minutes on the clock. Chippenham 1. Beckenham nil. It's a routine goal for us, really. Slides it straight across. Similar to a FIFA goal, really, isn't it? You put it across the goalkeeper, we're going to tap it in. 
Dan's got this ball, heading it into Russ, back to Dan. Russ has got this ball, trying to release Bradbury, and he has. Cuts it across, trying to find Hewlett. Maybe he should have gone for the shot then. Dan puts it into Fazimade. Fazimade can get the goals for us. He scored two goals in one match before. Over to Jones. Jones with the cross. Into Dan. Dan's head and it's gone over. I think the way we're attacking this match at the moment, we're definitely going to get quite a few goals in this. Beckenham with the goal kick. Just obviously waiting for the options to come forward. There it goes. It's only as far as Dan. Dan into Hewlett. Hewlett's got this ball. He's got men around him. He's beat one man. Beat two. Into the box. And puts it through the goalkeeper. I said there was going to be goals in this one, didn't I? Chipping them to Beckenham Neil. Throw in on the left-hand side for Jones. Plays it into Bradbury. I thought he was going to go back to Jones there. It's gone into Muhu. He's, he's trying to force a pass there, really. Uh, Beckenham's uh, sweeped up the ball. They're out on their right-hand side. Pushing it forward. There's no player there. Tizard easily uh, covers the ball. Back into French. Over to Martinez. Staying with the goalkeeper and the defenders at this moment in time. It's a nice little turn from Tizard. You can see the uh, the Premiership class within him. Again, it's another ball over the top from Beckenham, which we can easily clean up. Jones on the left-hand side. Plays it into Fazenmaid. Back to Muhu. Plays it to Fazenmaid again as we go back to Jones. Passing it around in the uh, little triangles at the moment as we go over the top, trying to find Dan. Dan's heading to Hewlett. Hewlett with the first time striking this over the bar. I don't know how he could generate so much power from that shot there. It's come off his side foot. It looks like he's sort of passed it towards the goal. As uh, Beckham with the free kick into our defence. Russ has got this ball. Chests it down nicely into Dan. Dan's got one player in front of him. Can he have a shot from range? He doesn't. He's worked out to the byline. In goes the cross to Hewlett. Oh, I thought Hewlett scored then. It's a good save from the goalkeeper and we've got a corner. In it comes then from Fazenmaid. Aiming for that. I think it's the front post we got on this one. No, it is the back post. It's been cleared only as far as Bradbury. It's recycles it back into Rusty. Rusty with a shot. It loops up off a defender. Keeper easily catches. Took all the sting out of that shot. All the power. Throw in for Beckenham. The right hand side. That's our left hand side. As he, uh, they charge up the right hand side. No one's really putting any pressure on them. They've gone all the way back to the goalkeeper. Got all that ground and then... Decide to go backwards. Doesn't make any sense to me. Blasts it forward. Aina easily wins the header there into Dan. Dan's got Hewlett. If Hewlett can push into the box, which he hasn't at the moment, he's just hanging around in the sort of attacking midfielder position at the moment. Muhu over to Fazenmaid. Angles his run nicely to pick up the ball. Might have been offside, is why he's done that. Jones's head into Bradbury. Over to Jones again. Akinday with the head. Oh, it's just past the post. Good effort. Corner. Fazin made. Puts it in. Aiming for Hewlett. Hewlett's head. Oh, it hits the post. Beckenham have got it clear. We've got another corner here. It's another opportunity for us to grab a third just before half time. Fazin made puts this one in. Aiming again for that back post. Hewlett I can't get to the ball. Beckenham get it clear. Bradbury's picked it up. Puts it in. I don't know why he's put it there. There was options in the centre. Decision making there is, wasn't really what I'd, I'd expect from a player in, in this team. Jones plays it over. Fazin made. Is he offside? I don't know. But Bradbury's chest it down. Shot from outside the box. Hits the goalkeeper. There's just so much power on it. Bounces down. Goes into that bottom corner. Chipping them three. Beckon them nil. I think we're going to book our spot in the next round. Into time added on at the end of this first half. It's a half that Beckenham are going to want to finish really to get their boys in because we've absolutely battered them so far. 3-0 to us. Double substitution then on the hour mark. Uh, Sampson comes on for Tizard. Tizard was absolutely knackered. Sampson goes to right back and Aina goes in to the centre. And Santos has come on for Fazenmaid who wasn't having the best of games. He's on a 6.6 .6 rating for, uh, for the first hour of this game. Got a quarter of an hour left. Had no real highlights of this in this second half. It has all been in that first half. Although we've got one now. Santos with the corner. Plays it in trying to find Hewlett. They've got it clear. It's only as far as Aina. Aina into Muhu. Over to Russi. Back again to Muhu. Who has a shot from range. He hits the crossbar. I think that's the third or fourth time in this match we have hit the uh, the woodwork in this game. 
10 minutes left to go. Final substitution of the match. Uh, Parker comes on for Akin Day. We've got three minutes of time added on. We have booked our place in the next round so far. So Beckham have got to throw in. I don't think they're going to score four goals or at least three to take it to a replay. Goes over to that left-hand side. Simpson easily clears that. Nice overhead kick in to Muhu. Russi over to Parker. He's got options if he can find them. Especially on that right-hand side where Samson, uh, Simpson is. Sorry, Simpson puts it in. He should have ran, really. Although, I mean, it's towards the end of the game. We, a game which we've won, so I can't really be too too harsh on him. Aina with the ball. Over the top, trying to find a... Uh, Chippenham player. I think Russie's going to get this ball. No, he's not. He's lost it. He has won it back now, though. Aina into Muhu. Over the top, trying to find Parker on that right-hand side. He's got two options in the box. He finds Hewlett. Hewlett with his second of the game and our fourth right at the death. Chippenham four, Beckenham nil. Convincing, convincing win from us. Such a good result as well. Just waiting for that full-time whistle. And there it goes. Chippenham four, Beckenham nil. We're into the next round. Uh, let's find out who we've got next then. So we've got the draw for the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. When I did the second qualifying round, it took absolutely ages to get through them. So I'm just going to skip the draw. Click continue and see who we got. We got Folkestone. Folkestone are currently in... If we have a look at the general there, they are in tier 7. So it's a tier below where we are. A team that I think we can easily beat. And we've got them... Uh, after the Slough game. So we won't play that one on camera. Let's go straight into the Dulwich game then. Right then, we're all ready for the big clash against Dulwich. The team we're putting out is French in goal. A back four of Jones, Martinez, Tizard and Aina. Muhu and Rusty in the defensive midfielder positions. Fazin made Young and Santos in the attacking midfield positions. Supporting Akindeyani up front. We're giving Hewlett the game off. Same as Bond in the centre. Uh, just for this game because we've got Slough coming up and we need to keep our players fresh really. First highlight is Dulwich with a free kick. He gets put in and it's straight over the bar. Never troubling French whatsoever. Santos got to collect this ball out on the right hand side. He's got two Dulwich players around at the moment. Plays it forward and finds Young. Can Young find a cross into the box? He doesn't. He plays it to Santos on the edge of it. Slots it in. It's hit. I think he's hit one of the, the Dulwich players. As it's gone in, it's gone down as a Santos goal. I'll take it. We're 1-0 up. Come on, boys. The unbeaten run the league is still going. Tizard heads this ball, trying to find Santos on that right-hand side. Dulwich have picked it up and have played it into their goalkeeper. Working it up the centre now into the midfield. Gone back into the defence just for the time being as it gets pushed forward. Oh, we've let the ball go through. Push that out onto that left-hand side now. Our defence need to stay alert. Dulwich are around us in the league table. Capable of a goal. Capable of a result as well. Played it back into their defensive players. Just inside our half. There it goes. Goes forward. Tizard's missed the header. And it's luckily a shot that has been high and wide. And yeah, never troubling us. Approaching half time as well here. Into the time added on. We'll be the happier team going in at the moment. And there goes the halftime whistle. Just the one goal separating it for us. Just the one change then at half time. Hanks has come on for, I thought it was for Fazin Maid, but I've took Santos off instead. I've took the wrong player off, really. Uh, Fazin Maid should have come off and Young gone into that right hand side. Put my hands up. That is definitely a mistake on my part. Hour mark gone. No highlights in this second half so far. Hopefully it can stay that way. So if I only take. Uh, Fazin made off. Uh, Greenslade comes on for England. Greenslade goes up front. akindei has gone on the right. Jordan Young's gone on the left hand side. We've got about 15 minutes left of this game. We've had 11 shots, six of those on target. We've dominated possession as well. Dulwich can't get a, a grasp into this game. They've had that shot right at the end of the first half, but nothing has come from from any of us really in the second half. Although we've got a free kick here. Hank puts it in, finds Jones in the edge of the box, and he's been fouled. We've got a penalty and an opportunity to double our lead here. Joe Hanks is going to be stepping up to take this one. Can he find the back of the net? He steps up. He shoots. He doesn't. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. There's a poor penalty really, but a decent save from the goalkeeper. He saved Dulwich's blushes there. 
Three minutes of time added on at the end of this game. Jones with a throw on the left-hand side. Plays it into Hanks. Back into Jones. Jones pushes it forward, trying to find a Dulwich player. There is no one there. Holland gets it clear. It's only as far as Hanks. There it goes, back into the box. Akinday's trying to win the ball. He doesn't. Dulwich have got an opportunity for counter-attack on the go here. Working it into Mills. Mills is a uh, set piece. Headering goal machine uh, last season for us at Dulwich. Plays it in to the Dulwich, uh, the Dulwich player on that right-hand side. There's a shot. It's a, I thought it was a good save from Sam French, but it's not. Can't keep hold of it. Slips out of his hands. Hits the floor and rolls into the net. Chipping on one. Dulwich nil. Oh, we're going to ruin that penalty miss now, aren't we? Definitely. Silly. Silly. There, there you go. Full-time whistle. 1-1. One, one. We should have won that game. Easily should have won it. And I think that's what we're going to say to him. We're going to say that and just see what the boys, how the boys react to it for the next game. Fazin made. I'm not really made up on him at the moment. Yes, he can score goals, but he's had two games where his, his, his form has been absolutely poor. Quick look at the league table then. So, we are still in fourth on 20 points. We only picked up the one point, haven't we? Uh, seven points behind Haven and Waterlooville, who've lost their first game. Um, it looks like Bath have also lost the game, so we are the only unbeaten team in the league. Come on, Chippenham Town. Looking at the schedule, I think we'll come back for uh, the Hempstead, uh, yeah, Hemmer Hempstead Town and Concord Rangers game. Get these like, five or six games out of the way and then come in for those ones. So if you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me, please. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this journey. Why not leave a little comment in the bottom as well for me? And as always, thank you very much for watching.